Right, the next stage is to get the floor down. Um, obviously, yeah, I've got uh, solid structure now, all the way around, at the correct height I need. Um, same with the correct height I need. At the height I originally planned on, but there's still time to make final alterations if you want, and I won't. Um, now, looking first at the joists. We have the joists running all the way down both ends, wall plate and end plate. And then we have joists running in between them. Even spacings, so you've got 400 centre. Um, <clears throat> remembering that when you're doing it, you've got to keep it away from the outside elements. Now, these outside walls, that one, and that one, even though that one's down inside, is still going to be damp in time. So DPC is used to protect it against that dampness. So that is your barrier, that DPC. So you've got to make sure that barrier is intact all the way around. Otherwise you'll get damp patching, you won't be able to do anything about it. It's rising damp. Um, so on top of them bricks first, get a line of DPC. On this side here, um, I'm onto the foundations of the house. I put some concrete blocks down, that gives me a 4 inch lift, I need more than that. Um, so I'll give myself more and then put DPC down again and then sand the joist onto that. You can, if you want, use cement to make these levels perfect and such, but you've got trying time. Um, there's no need, no rule saying you've got to. What I'm going to do is use timbers. So whatever timber needed on me to bring it up to the level. Um, it will be the same timber as the floor, so there's not going to be any crushing, any sinking or anything like that. Um, so there'll be no problem with that, and it means I can move along at a much quicker pace. A um, couple of points to remember as we're doing this, and that is I need to get the pipes in for the radiator. I need to get the cables in for the general wiring, the lights, the sockets, etc. I'm going to be putting a floor socket in for this area here somewhere. Um, and I'm putting a, a, a wall socket here, the switch will be here, there'll be a higher up socket and an aerial socket because there's going to be a one mount TV there. These are all things that you want to be thinking about now to make it easier. Um, a few spur there that will spur down the uh, socket ring to do the lights because I'm not going to be able to get through to the light circuit so I'll just spur down um, a cable to 5 amps to give me lights across the top there and put it into that box. Um, then things need to be thought of as you're doing, but initially when you're doing the floor, get the cables in. The first fix was in. Cables and pipes, get them in. Okay, let's now start the levels. The plan all along has been for the floor to sit nicely under there, which you see it does give me just a nice little clearance. And then we will put the laminated flooring on top, which would put up to it there like that. But I've changed my mind. It was put up to it like that. But that was then, now I've changed my mind. Now I want it to go over there. Which means this gap I need to make up. So that this is sitting up there flush. So that's what I'm going to work out now. Um, just by raising the joists up that much more. Um, this is the line I'm going to work on first, and then I can transfer the uh, level across to that side there. Okay, so we'll start on here, we need to start with the blocks, getting them the level we want. Okay, what I've done is I've taken a measurement, and from the concrete, which is where the, these blocks are going to stand, to the underside of this piece, because this is going to be the floor, and it's exactly where I want it. So I've taken it from the underside of that to the concrete there. Then I've taken away the size of this joist, which is going to sit on that. Now, that's left me with 180 millimetres. So now I want to cut blocks 180 millimetre to stand on that concrete for that to stand on. Then I should be there at the height exactly where one piece of that brings me to level with there. So, get on with doing that. Perfect. So 
development. Okay, now I'm just going to do that all the way down. Um, what I'll do next is I'll do another one from this to that one there. Remember it again, there's your DPC line of the house, damp is going to rise up to here, transfer to that, and that's on your floor. So make sure this is protected from DPC. I put DPC on top of that, and the wood doesn't get in. That's a 22 and an 18. There, so 40 man. Um, that level, so I can do that all the way along there. I would assume I can do the same on the pump wall there. Okay, that's the level I want. Now I'll make lots more blocks. All the joists to stand on. I know it's here. And a whole load of offcuts of insulation. I was passing an engineering firm a couple of weeks back and by the skip they had this and um, it's roofing what they use for industrial buildings. It's double skinned normally with um, steel, aluminium probably, galvanised steel. Um, inside is this Colex insulation and it's very expensive stuff to get. So I went and asked them, so what are you doing with it? And he says, check it, check what you want. They're just skipping it, they're throwing it away, it's of no use to them at all. Um, and what have I got? A lot of pieces. An average two metres in them. Five feet ten. So a handful there to insulate that entire floor. And it's 120 mil thick. So it's good stuff. Right. But what I've got to think of now is the joisting spaces, normally 400 centres, they're not. They're going to be what this needs. So I'm going to have spaces of the gap between a 310. Let's put some closer together slightly so it's going to be a stronger floor, so we're not complaining about that. You've got a joint going on like this. It's um, useful to put another piece on top like that. It just shows you that the whole thing is level with itself. Um, well, it's a lot better than spirit level because you can see any gaps that's going on over the whole length of it. Now, I will be putting a plate across these just to brace them. All helps. Not necessarily. All helps. Okay, that's all then done. Now then tight to this point, I will have the uh, pipes coming through the wall. And um, that'll be in the way. So before I put these in place, I'm going to get them pipes in first. Now I'm going to use some uh, 10 mm micro ball. Um, so you can go on two lengths through, two radiators in the house. Um, not taking any milk yet, obviously, so Getting rid there is adequate. Um, but the main thing is to get them through this wall. Which is as tight in here as possible. against that truck all the way because there's a gap there between that and the wall and I can get them nicely in there and I can just curve up and into the radiator. So let's get some standard insulation, pipe like it, and get them put into place. Probably won't need that much. <laughs>
Okay, Martin out of 320. Spacings. I think you get a picture there, see how it's going. I'll get the joist down um, and then we'll come back to uh, getting the top skin down. Right, the next stage is putting the insulation sheets in. Um, and what I've done is, just about 20 mil, 25 mil up, I've put a series of nails. So you put mesh, mesh and all that sort of stuff in there. It's a rigid board, so it'll go in. And then I'll just slot the boards in. Right, do that to all of them. 